Hey guys, welcome to Bar Z. My name's Stan, and I'm still playing with the uh, aspect ratio and stuff of this 360 cam. Um, just for your information, during this video, at any time, grab the screen, move it left, move it right, up, down. Uh, just click and drag, and it'll pan you around the shop, and you can look around. You can even look at, look at the ceiling if you like. But uh, I thought I'd try it, and just kind of move around the shop a little bit. And anywhere I go, you're going to have to follow me. So I don't have to move the camera. It's just parked right in the middle of the shop. And we can uh, move around as kind of freely. And uh, you can follow along with what I'm doing. You may be looking at my back. You may be looking, who knows what you'll be looking at. But uh, let me uh, move over to the lathe. And I'll turn and talk to you from there. Maybe you can zoom in on me there. And uh, we'll chit chat a little bit. And then I'll go over to the mill and turn and talk to you a little bit and you can chit chat from there. So uh, I'm going to head over uh, to the lathe. Hopefully you've figured out how to swing your camera around and uh, now you're looking at me over over here where I can uh, do my thing. You're not, I don't think you're really close enough to see what I'm doing, but uh, you definitely, uh, uh, I know you can hear me and I know you can see me I was standing here talking, but if I move over to the mill, you can come over here, and I don't have to worry about whether my head's in frame or not. It's up to you to put me in frame. You can zoom in on me, but uh, it's probably going to get a little pixelated. Um, like I say, this is just a test of how I move around the shop, and you know where uh, you'd be able to see, and how close you're going to be able to see everything. Uh, let me go over to the surface grinder from here. Uh, this might be interesting. It's kind of far away. Uh, see if you can zoom in on me and hear me talk okay. But uh, let me go over there and we'll see how that looks. Alright, you should have been able to zoom in on me way over here. Uh, no, no, no. Over here, guys. There you go. <laughs> I'm just guessing that you weren't panning around right. So I thought you'd uh, uh, like to see what's going on over here. So you can see me on this machine. You can see me on that machine. Um, I'm going to get up and move the camera uh, to a new location to see if that, uh, you know, changes the angle or makes it any better or any worse or anything like that. So uh, let me get up. I'll move the camera. Where am I going to put it? Maybe I'll put it on top of the drill press. That'll be a fun angle and try it from there. Okay, here we go. There. You're on top of the Walker Turner now. Uh, if you look back that way, all you're going to see is wall. But, uh, yeah, you can kind of check out some of the stuff on my wall from over there. I think. Let me get this out of the way. That camera needs a full field of vision. Here, I'll turn it to face you so you can check that out. That was made for me by, uh, or uh, yeah, made for me by Rick Gearhart in Florida. Okay, I'm back over by the mill again, and just to see what's going on. Uh, go ahead and zoom in on me. See how pixelated I get. Uh, we're do, we are doing a volume check, so uh, that's interesting to see what's going on there. Uh, next thing we can do is we can move it over to the mill and shoot it back the other direction. And you can kind of scope around over there and look around. So here we go. All right, now you're up on the mill, which is probably a pretty good vantage point. And now you're looking back over towards the Walker Turner. Um, what's kind of nice is I can go anywhere. It gives me kind of a freedom to do what I want to do and uh, move around the shop. As long as you guys don't have any trouble following me around the shop. Um, but I uh, thought this would be fun to try. And just see what the ratio, you know, if I get all fish-eyed and distorted, or if it's actually uh, worth anything, you know. 
Let's uh, take it over to the surface grinder. We'll check it out over there. Where would we put you here? Um, let's see. Maybe we'd put you up uh, over here. So you're uh, you're kind of on top of the control box back there. You know, don't take up a lot of room. It's got the shakes over there. Every time I move the axis, it's wiggling the camera. So let's see what else I can do. Maybe I'll put you over here on the table. If I put you there, you might be able to see me pretty good. So I'd be here working and talking. Lights on. So this is what you'd be able to see if I was actually doing some work. Camera's nice and steady there. Uh, let's check the volume with the machine runner. Make sure you can hear me if I do decide to talk. Maybe you can see what I'm doing there. And look around it. that down. Let's turn off this light and this. Let's get right, this well somewhere else. Uh, see, during a, during a feed like that, you never know what's going to happen. You can back that up and watch me drop my, uh, uh, my nice test indicator on the ground. Okay, guys, well, that's about it for uh, this test. I don't know what else we'd do. Maybe go back over here. Maybe look at a grinder or something. Let's take this over. And maybe we'll set you right about here. And I'll set here. But here we got a Baldor uh, um, a tool tool grinder. It's got a pretty nice little LED work light on it. Uh, table uh, tilts, both tables tilt. It's a wet system, it uses the water cups up on top. And it's got a catch pan on the bottom, but it's a it's a nice little uh, unit. It is a three phase. I have to start the phase converter, and uh, great little tool grinder. Uh, it'll spin in either direction, which is cool. So you can work on either side of the wheel. I, I currently have uh, diamonds on on both, um, a, a medium and a fine on there. So I do have uh, diamonds already on there, and they're running pretty true. You know, they're not they're not like a surface grinder. They've got a little bit of bounce, but not a heck of a lot. They're uh, they're actually pretty good. All right, um, let's turn that phase converter off. Okay, well I hope you got the hang of uh, swinging the camera around. Um, you're currently sitting on a little Delta uh, belt sander. Uh, there's my other Dayton belt sander there, and behind me is my, uh, I'm probably blocking that, uh, my old Wilton, that's a Tennessee made Wilton, uh, cast iron pig, that's a, that thing's about uh, 700 pound bandsaw, that, that bandsaw is no joke. So uh, yeah, good heavy uh, uh, cast iron machine. I am expecting a cold saw this coming Monday, so that's coming up. Alright guys, well, that's about it for my uh, video. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go ahead and shut you down.